three, four, five, six, nine, ten. Okay, um, blah, blah, blah. Gollum is outnumbered, but since he's totally fucking crazy, he's owning their asses with all these old school world, uh, WWE moves. Sorry, not World War Two. WWE moves like the pulling the leg behind the back, <laughs> bouncing off the ropes body slam, and the purple nurple, of course. Frodo being pinned by Gollum. Sam, give him the chair! Oh my god. Um, Sam grabs a folding chair and smacks the fuck out of Gollum with it until he gets off of Frodo. By now, Gollum's brain is <laughs> falling out of his ear, and his eye is hanging out of his face like Steve Buscemi in Tales from the Crypt. Oh my god, that's a deep cut. But you know, Gollum just pops his eye and brain back in and it's all good. Frodo, let's tie him up! Both of them try to grab Gollum, but he just, um, he just slides out of their grip like he's coated in Vaseline. The bunnies slip and fall into each other. <laughs> Sam, shaking off his hands. Gross, he's slimy. Frodo, ugh, he really is a frog. Frodo shakes out his shirt, and the ring becomes visible around his neck. Gollum, in Murphy, uh, in McMurphy, oh yeah, McMurphy was his name. What was his first name? I don't even remember. Um, in McMurphy voice, see, I told you they had her, I told you they had Precious, in Harley Quinn voice. Precious, I ain't seen you in so long. What are you hanging out with these goons for? Four. <laughs> Sam. Oh my god, he's crazy. Er. <laughs> Golem in Jar 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 voice. Weesa not crazy. Weesa totally normal and not annoying at all. <laughs> in Smeagol voice. Too much talk. Just get him. <laughs> yeah, right. Golem leaps on Sam and pins him against the rock, strangling him. But Frodo jumps in and uh, puts his sword right against Golem's face. I guess he finally remembered that he has a sword. <laughs> um, what are you doing in there, Quincy? He's like acting like he's like struggling, but it's just like, why are you inside my fucking sweater? On your own accord. My little baby. My little baby. Alright, you can't get out that way. Go out the other way if you want to get out. Of course he doesn't want to leave. He just wants to be like a fucking joey in a pouch. Um, where was I? Okay, Frodo, say hello to my little friend. Yeah, of course. Sam, oh shit, nice usage. <laughs> Frodo, oh my god, the chest burster. <laughs> I guess he could get out that way. Move, move your giant tail. Oh my god, of course he has to sit right here. I'll just lay like this. Well, sideways. <laughs> Quincy, don't destroy my plastic bag! Stop! Okay. Where are you, boy? Oh, there, he's over there. Okay. <sighs> my fucking wig. <laughs> uh, Golem, thanks. I mean, Frodo. <laughs> Frodo, thanks to Golem. Cease and desist. My granule, granule laid. That's what it looks like it says, but it's French. I think it means my ugly frog. My, I don't know what it means. I think it means my ugly frog, but I'm not too sure actually. Golem lets go of Sam and backs down, looking all sad. Sam, yeah, you're our prisoner now, so you have to do whatever we say. <laughs> Um, cut to the three of them walking through the mountains with Golem making a hella big ass racket. And Sam walking Golem like a dog with a rope like a leash. Golem, yeah. You know what's funny is like, I thought, I always thought they made all this shit up for the movie because the movie is like, has a corny sense of humor. But then it's like, nah, all this shit is like straight from the book. Like, honestly. Um... <laughs> Gollum, yowling, wailing, making all kinds of demonic voices. <laughs> Sam stops walking. Oh my god! I can't take no more of this shit, man. I'm cooking him. He pulls out a big-ass butcher knife. What about that machete that uh, Gollum had before? He pulls out a big-ass butcher knife and is about to slaughter Gollum, but Frodo jumps in and stops him. Frodo, no, don't! Gollum, yes, I vote no also. <laughs> 
Sam, why not? I'm sick of eating crackers. This mangy chupacabra might not have much meat, but I can do something with it. He can cook his brain, at least. I don't know if that's a good idea, though. I don't know if I would eat Golem's brain, but if you're starving, you know, whatever. Um, Frodo, but don't you see? He's a reflection of ourselves. All our fears of losing everything and wasting away and having to live the rest of our lives in loneliness and obsession and sanity. He's only that way because of all the bad things that happened in his life. See, don't you feel bad for him now? What a way to, like, synthesize it. <laughs> Sam gives Frodo a blank look. Turns back to Gollum. Move over, Frodo, or the blood will splatter all over you. <laughs> he goes to slaughter Gollum again. Frodo, Sam, no! Sam, okay, look. I know you're predisposed to being more emotional, and it's fine, but here's the deal. Number one, every time you see someone with a fucked up ass- Oh my god, here, Sam is about to preach, you guys. Every time you see someone with a fucked up ass life doesn't mean you have to see things from their point of view or feel their pain. That's just gonna fuck with your emotions and not help anyone. Number two, hell no, nah, I don't feel bad for him. You don't get this fucked up in life without it being at least part partly your own fault. <laughs> He's just a stupid ass meth head. <laughs> you know what's funny? My dad was talking about how Sam is like- uh, like the conservative one technically and I was like oh my god can you imagine him with like a pickup truck and a flag <laughs> I can actually I think it's funny Frodo eyes get all watery my parents were meth heads he starts crying <laughs> Sam sighs <sighs> he puts the butcher knife away okay I'm sorry <sighs> Gollum in Harley voice see what you did you goof <laughs> Sam shut up you bitch <laughs> <laughs> Sam sighs and goes to hug Frodo. <laughs> okay, finally we can leave these guys and move on. No one likes Sam and Frodo's parts in this movie. Yeah, they're pretty unwatchable. That's why I had to do them silly. Frodo cries. Everyone hates me! <laughs> Sam pets him. <laughs> anyway, let's see what Mary and Perry are doing. Mary and Perry are being carried by the orcs like a couple sacks of potatoes while the orcs are running in a big-ass pack. Orcs. Singing all ratchetly. Come on, rude boy, boy, can you get it up? Come on, rude boy, boy, is it big enough? <laughs> Why are the orcs singing that song? That's really funny, actually. Perry, <laughs> weird, it had emoji face. <laughs> and you know what? My bad singing actually worked for at that time. Because I imagine the orcs to be all, <laughs> you know. Okay, looks over at Mary, who's all passed out. Mary, stay, trying to get his attention. Mary ignores him. Perry, Mary, please wake up! Mary slightly opens one eye. Shh. Uh, Perry, yay, Mary! Mary, shh. He closes his eyes again. <laughs> Perry, dot, dot, dot. My friend is dying! <laughs> Mary mutters, I'm not dying. Perry, freaking out, my friend's dying! Someone help him! Oh, poor Perry. <laughs> The orcs reach their little checkpoint or something, where there's some other orcs waiting for them. Waiting orc. Hey, you're an hour late. Urkai officer. Hey, blow me. <laughs> Basically is what he says. He just shoves the orc aside and goes ahead. Orc all offended. <sighs> Talking shit. Mm, yeah, look at me. I'm a big ass Urkai. Look at my thighs. I'm hot shit. <laughs> Meanwhile, Perry begging. Please, someone help my friend. At least give him some water. And for- oh god, I know what this part is. At first the orcs all, just all ignore him, but he makes so much damn noise that a couple of turn around. Mary, whispering, still trying to pretend to be passed out. Shut up, Perry. Urukai, what the hell are you making such a racket about? Perry, gives him the anime eyes. Let my friend have a drink, please. Urukai, ugh, you want a drink, huh? I got a drink for you. He unzips his pants. Mary opens his eyes. Oh god. The Urukai comes over and grabs Mary and dot dot dot. Well, you don't see it, but you know what's happening. <laughs> Mary <laughs> coughing and sputtering. <laughs> the Urukai stands back up. Him and all his friends are laughing at the little horrified bunnies and Mary spitting and coughing out piss. Poor Mary. <laughs> but you know what? In the book, they said that they actually... Gave, well, like, in the movie, they gave them liquor, but apparently in the book, the liquor actually had, like, magical healing properties or something. Um, Mary. <coughs> Thanks a lot, Perry. Perry looks down in shame. <laughs> the lead Urukai. 
All right, come on, you little douchebags. Let's get this sausage party on the road, you micro dicks. <laughs> Time is evilness. <laughs> I gotta start saying that. All the other orcs and archives grumble irritatedly. <sighs> But they start to pack up and button up their flies, you know, get ready to go. <laughs> Perry whispers to himself, I hope th I hope this makes it up to you, Mary. He twerks wildly while the <laughs> he twerks wildly while the orcs aren't looking and shakes his ass until a little tiny book falls out of his back pocket. Hmm, like this one, perhaps? <laughs> That's funny. Okay, I'm imagining him with like, yeah, his hands tied behind his back and he's just like twerking that way. That's funny. Um, Orc looks over at him. Hey, what the hell are you doing? Perry stops abruptly. Um, pumping the ground? <laughs> Orc grumbles, narrows his eyes suspiciously. Well, he waves it off. Eh, you rabbits are always, always horny, I guess. <laughs> he leaves. Perry, sigh of relief. <sighs> Lead Urukai, sniffs the air. Mm, I smell something. Secondary Urukai. What is it? Our enemies? Lead Urkai. Well, maybe. What I mostly smell is pizza and gasoline and really low quality weed and gin. Oh god, here they come. Cut to, you guessed it, Legolas, Gimli, and Aragorn. The first thing we see is Legolas smoking a cigarette. Oh yeah, I drew a couple pictures of this scene right here. It was, it was really, in my mind, it's like really cool. I wish I could make it for real, but I probably can't. Uh, smoking a cigarette and driving a dirty ass stolen white van with no glass in the driver or passenger side windows, i.e. an old ass hippie van. He looks totally chill and relaxed and driving one handed even though he's driving about 120 on a multi-lane highway. Well, of course all highways are multi-lane, right? I guess you can have like one of those that's only one direction going one way and one direction going the other way. But if it's like a fucking freeway, yeah, you usually have at least four. <laughs> Zooming and dodging around 18 wheelers, oh my god, and stuff like that. Well, you know, I wrote this before I got my driver's license, so I didn't really know shit. I'm just like, oh yeah, cars, roads, something, I don't know. While listening to Sweet Home Alabama on the cassette tape player, <laughs> Aragorn is lounging out in the rowdy passenger seat, wearing a headband, and getting drunk on gin with the wind all blowing through his hair. Yeah, so relaxing, right? Trucker blares horn at them as they cut him off. Was that that guy from Duel? Aragorn gives him the laziest middle finger ever. Get alive. <laughs> Meanwhile, Gimli's in the back, eating some old-ass pizza, with four college freshmen in skimpy summer clothes, all tied up like a bunch of hostages. Well, three of them are tied up. The fourth guy is in a wheelchair, <laughs> so they just duct-taped his hands to the chair and bungee cord his wheelchair to the wall. Oh my god. I wonder who these people are. College student number one. Please don't hurt us. We'll do whatever you want. College student number two. Yeah, my parents got money. I'll give you whatever you want. Just let us go. Aragorn looks back at them, slurring. Hey, you ain't got nothing to worry about from us. Ha <laughs> ha. We're the good guys. <laughs> College student number one. <laughs> um, Gimli, with mouth full of pizza, picks up his ox. <laughs> Hey, shut up! <laughs> College students all go dead silent. Give him away. Lays his axe across his lap. That's more like it. Here, you want some pizza? <laughs> he shoves the na nasty, soggy-ass van pizza all up in one of the girls' faces. Yeah, I don't know why. I just really wanted this to be like a Rob Zombie-like movie, basically. Um, Legolas, meanwhile, is rocking out to the music. Um... Oh, you know what? I almost forgot. I drew these three characters as the, you know, the front cover of um, Devil's Rejects with the three people like in, walking from the sunset or whatever. I drew a copy of that, but with Aragorn as uh, Otis, uh, Legolas' as baby, and... Uh, Gimli as the clown. <laughs> it's one of my best pictures I've ever done. Um, okay. Uh, what happened? Oh, look, Legolas, meanwhile, is rocking out to the music. Legolas singing along. Cause I'm as free as a bird now. As bird you cannot change. Whoa. Uh, I always think of a fucking... What is that movie? Uh, I always think of a... Fucking, what is that movie, you know? Fucking Life is Like a Box of Chocolates, you know? What is that called? It's Forrest Gump. 
Forrest Gump is where I first heard that song, so it always made me think of it. Sudden police siren from behind them. I like how they're just like completely in the modern world now, too. Highway Patrol. Pull over. You are going way too fast. <coughs> uh, Legolas, fuck the 5 -0. Or I think he's actually supposed to say, like, fuck, the 5 <laughs> But he can also say it like the way I just said it. Uh, Gimli quietly looks out the back, quickly looks out the back window. Can you outrun them? <laughs> outrun them, yeah, because they just said you're going too fast. Like, goes, I'm trying. Highway patrol, pull over, or we'll be authorized to use deadly force. <laughs> just go straight to that. Legolas, you guys, stop them! Aragorn leans out the window and shoots at the cop car, but he's so drunk that his aim is all off. <laughs> College kids, ah! College kid number three, are you fucking crazy? Police, you are all under arrest. Aragorn creeps back to where the college kids are, reloading his gun. <laughs> College kid, I take it back, you're not crazy, and don't kill us! <laughs> Aragorn, kill you. <laughs> We're a team. He kicks open the back door of the van while Legolas swerves, speeding like a maniac down the highway. As the wild instrumental part of Freebird plays. Yeah, that goes on for like six fucking minutes. You got like two and a half minutes of like song and then, I mean, of like lyrics, and then you get um all this like instrumental but you know if you're like my dad that's not a problem and even just complaining about it a little bit is a problem but i love that song so whatever Aragorn, come here <laughs> he grabs one of the college kids and put pulls her up against him while everyone is screaming like it's a freaking slasher film hmm, no it's not Aragorn, um take this be my eyes <laughs> this is the part i like the most that i tried to draw but I kind of did a chop job of it, um, because I just did it in pen, pen. I didn't do it in pencil first, so I'll redo this picture one day, make it look real good. He puts the gun in her hands and stands behind her. Like, you know those stupid corny romance scenes in movies where the guy is teaching the girl to shoot? It's like that, but not. Yeah, if any guy ever tried to do that shit to me, I'd fucking, like, elbow him in the kidney. And then he'd be like, you bitch, and then he'd walk away. He wouldn't be interested anymore, that's for damn sure. He'd go find some fucking submissive bitch. Um, where am I? College student. I'm sorry, God. I'll never be bad again. I'll do my homework. I'll give up sex. I'll support the war. <laughs> Aragorn, just aim and shoot. They shoot together like crazy at the cop car, blowing off all six bullets, shooting out all four of the cop car tires and the driver's side mirror and the cop's hat. Right off his head through the windshield. Mm, that's awesome. The cop car swerves off the road and they leave it far behind. <laughs> they leave it far behind. That's another song. Gimli, woo! Aragorn, yeehaw! Of course, he had to say that. He kisses the college student. <laughs> college student, frozen in shock. Legolas, Gimli, take the wheel. I want to enjoy this. Gimli, huh? Legolas takes one of their heavy ass bags and drops it on the gas pedal. <laughs> God. Then sits up on the windowsill as Gimli frantically grabs the wheel and haphazardly steers the van. Legolas in total bliss. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And then like the guitar is playing in the background, you know. Uh, he finishes off his cigarette as the end of Freebird plays out. Oh my god. I used to write such badass scenes when I had fun in life. Cut to the three of them tracking up in the hills. You know, like as if they're actually back in medieval times or something. Jeez, Legolas is leaping up on some tall rocks and looking around, while Gimli and Aragorn are sniffing around in the grass like hunting dogs. Aragorn does the point pose. <laughs> I sense something. It's funny because in the book they said that Aragorn laid down on the ground, kind of like how I'm laying right now. And like in the movie, you know, he's like doing this and stuff. But like they said in the book that he just randomly got down on the ground like that and kind of, I think, didn't really say what he was doing. He was like listening, you know, but he was just like that. And then Gimli and Legolas were just awkwardly standing there and he was just like, like that on the ground for like a really long time. And Gimli is like, do you think you passed out? He said, he said, so it was like something like that. Um, Gimli, huh? Aragorn, there. He points with his hand. Uh, Gimli reaches down to the ground and picks up the little book that Pippin left. It's all trampled, but still good. <laughs> Gimli, the bunnies were here. He opens the book and finds a bunch of cutesy crayon drawings of ice creams and stuff. <laughs> of course. Gimli, aw, Pip. Then he reaches a point in the notebook where all the drawings are of people getting tortured and molested. 
by anatomically correct demons and black spirals like in the ring. Of course, you know, you can't have a you can't have a diary or journal without that. That's like necessity. How many, how many more pages? Okay, I'm just gonna finish it. Uh, Gimli. Oh. Legolas. Let's go! He dashes off running. Aragorn. Yeah, no time to lose. He chases after him. Gimli. A groan of frustration. Ugh. Again. Oh, okay. And then there's- that was the last page. And then there's this picture. Okay, cool.